Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Monday, January 2nd, 2023. It's a beautiful day. We're in Asbian. <laughs> Listen, here's what we're going to talk about tonight. Okay, I have to backtrack a little to some older alt media news, and then we'll get into the current one in our read. I'll explain. Now, there were some reports on alt media that the spa was attacked on Christmas Day. And I chose not to try to cover it with the tarot cards, mostly because every source that I found that spoke about that went back to one source. And I kind of like to have a two source or more verification before I get going with something. But sometimes we proceed regardless, and this will be one of those cases. Okay, so follow me on this. December 25th, there is reportedly a, an attack that was thwarted on the spa. And then because of some of the provocateurs of that were um, apprehended, they discovered that the, uh, the vessel that all of that equipment and manpower had come in on was housed out of a, um, a larger ship that has been hanging out down in Venezuela. Hmm. Okay. Now, one of the things, reasons that I hadn't reported on this before was because as they were speculating about why that incursion happened on Christmas Day, other than that, it uh, is a good day to see if uh, they have skeleton crews and what that skeleton crew can handle. Um, <clears throat> so I thought, I don't buy that reason. I think the person that they speculated might have been uh, the object of that incursion, I doubt, is that important to uh, the deep state at this time. And I think that person has probably already been dealt with. So I wasn't buying that part of the story. An incursion, yes. Okay. Then there's more. All media then reports that the majority of those personnel, even though they were wearing military uniforms, were involved with FEMA. Now we know FEMA has been a naughty, naughty, naughty entity. That uh, their rogue agents are <laughs> far from few, and that they uh, they loot and do other things when they're supposed to be providing aid and comfort to people that have found themselves the victim of an emergency situation. Okay. Now, if those efforts of theirs, those uh, endeavors, those little sidelines of theirs had been thwarted by troops stationed out of the spa, I could see where a grudge would motivate someone, especially someone who uh, feels justified in victimizing victims further um, and uh, trying to inflict some damage in return, tit for tat type of thing. So today, January 2nd, alt media is reporting that the vessel that held those FEMA agents and some other rogue elements of our military is the USS Boxer. And further reported that some uh, pretty substantial damage had been done and it was deliberately um, limited in scope and nature so that that USS Boxer at some time, because it's a you know hugely valuable piece of uh, equipment <laughs> could possibly be repurposed and, and used for good in the future, which is always, you know, minimum collateral damage is always good to go for in any kind of a military scenario. All right. So I applaud that part of the story, but here's what I want to ask the universe about. Okay. And here's a picture of the USS Boxer. One second, I'll show you. You can easily find it. You won't find much in the way of um, reporting on where it's located currently, but this is what it looks like. It's over 800 feet long. And uh, um, it is, if it's true that it has been on loan or in the use of FEMA, it begs the question, why do they need an aircraft carrier that can support like fighter pilots and things like that? I I have trouble seeing a justification for it. And if it truly is down by Venezuela, since the FEMA is supposed to help American territories and citizens, what's it doing down there? 
It does make one wonder and start to use critical thinking, which is always valuable to do when truth is uh, often obfuscated and uh, hard to come by. But let's ask the cards. Was the USS Boxer, did it receive some uh, critical damage and uh, um, in the very recent past? And is there other information about this whole conflict story between FEMA and the spa that the universe wants us to know. Let's find out. Okay, universe, give us some insights here and information please about the uh, um, reporting that the USS Boxer has uh, been to a great extent neutralized for the uh, foreseeable future. Um, and information about its uh, the situation involving FEMA and our armed forces. Okay. It's true. There's some fighting going on. Ooh. Okay, so we have the uh, five of wands. I shouldn't just react to the cards. I should tell you what they are in case you're only listening to this. Then we have the death card. In the recent past, we have the seven of wands. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the nine of swords. Eight of swords. And justice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's talk about those cards. Okay, so our question is indicated by the Five of Wands. We were asking about the USS Boxer. Is it true that it has suffered some damages recently, kind of keeping it from being used for shenanigans by um, uh, FEMA and others who don't have the best interests of the citizens of the United States in mind. And this card shows that there is some fighting and stress involved. So yes, there was a conflict, okay? <laughs> the death card shows up. Now the death card doesn't usually mean death in and of itself. It's talking about a uh, long, slow transformation. So the boxer was being used. It was not being used for good purposes. That uh, And that change, um, has been halted to a great extent by the efforts of the White Hats. Good going, guys. Thank you. Okay, in the recent past, we have the Seven of Swords, also indicating the situation. So yeah, they were involved with some trickiness. They didn't, it wasn't as successful as they hoped, but they still made their way back to home port, okay, with, uh, yeah, after having inflicted what damage they could before their forces were repelled. Okay, now in the current situation, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So there is a lot of celebrating. I hear it was our, our wonderful Navy SEALs who handled that uh, operation. And kudos, guys. If I could buy you a beer, I would. Thank you very much. Yeah, even though I think there's like 32 beers I'd be buying, I'd buy them. Okay, so thank you very much for your service. And uh, there's some celebrating going on that on the part of the Alliance and the White Hats, there was absolutely no loss of life. Okay, and the same can't be said for people that were aboard the Boxer, but again, they kept collateral damage to um, the bare minimum. So looking for, looking ahead, we're told that we don't have to worry um, about the Boxer in the USS Boxer being used for nefarious purposes for any time in the foreseeable future, okay? They've been, uh, they've been disabled to great extent, okay? So, and it was a justice call, okay? So this celebration truly was one of justice being administered. Often with my cards, you notice I'll get the judgment, saying the people are facing a judgment, but seldom do we get the uh, justice card, which says, done deal. I love that we got it here. That's why it made me laugh. Let's take a look at a couple other cards and see if we can get some further insights about the situation with the USS Boxer down in Venezuela. Queen of Swords is showing up. 
Now she is about, she's very objective, um, good, clear thinking. She's strong and patient and enough was enough guys. And the page of cups, that's the last card I'll pull for this particular read. It's just showing us that uh, there's pleasant there's probably a pleasant surprise involved with this whole situation. Okay, maybe it's uh, helping people wake up. Maybe there's some people at FEMA headquarters whose uh, uh, buns are on the, the grill for this. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it's a good card to kind of close out this read. Love it. So it does look like the reporting that there was uh, damage done to the USS Boxer, which was on loan to uh, um, FEMA and was not being used for um, comfort aid and rescue purposes, uh, has suffered some damage and it was an act of justice that it was done. Now, again, I didn't get anything to indicate that actions had involved a uh, particular politician at all. I think it has to do with more with some agency infighting and uh, someone trying to get some revenge and maybe jockeying for power because, hey, isn't the swamp all about power? Power and control and a lot of uh, shenanigans with our taxpayer money. I wish it was different, and I do believe in the near future it will be. Let's uh, make that manifest with how we think about things, how we envision the future. Because remember, energy flows where attention goes. So let's be uh, let's be picturing that uh, low tax, no tax, um, happy days future that's headed our way. This is, after all, the age of Aquarius. That's it for tonight. Thank you so much for your uh, your time, your attention. I don't take it for granted, and I appreciate that you spend a little of it with me. Until next time, I wish you love and light and all good things. Good night.